second. He's got on the road right now. There he is. In the shoulder. Go yeah, reload, 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 please. The biggest buffalo ever shot by a female. <clears throat> you know, by a long way. For me, this this is what we're looking for on the mountains. That's the kind of shape I expect to see in that. They don't look as healthy this time of year as they used to back in the day. For some people, hunting season never ends. Staying in the forefront of global conservation leaves business and safety at stake. These three men risk it all for the hunts of a lifetime. True Magnum TV is proudly presented by Zeiss. In Africa, Rob Dunham is accompanying Ken McCarty on his first trip to Africa in many years. Kenny came to Zimbabwe when he was a young man with his dad, and he stayed for a year apprenticing PH. And it's taken me 15 years to get him to come back to Africa. And he's back and he's hunting buffalo, something that he, he's always wanted to do for all these years. But uh, he's got a lot of experiences, like lions charging him, and he's got great stories. And it's, it's taken almost two decades to get me to get this guy back here. And now to see him here walking around with the big dangerous game look on his face, and he's got his 375. It's awesome. It's going to be a great, great, great hunt. Although Rob and Kenny have hunted many places, this is the first time the two friends will have experienced Africa together. So, um, We've seen a couple buff this morning. Beautiful old Dugga boy, broken, broken horns. He's old. I like that though. Been, been through a few battles. Yeah, beautiful. But we're just gonna take a walk and there's fresh sign spore down in this valley. So we'll follow our pHs and see if we can't bump one out. Game on. Game on. That buffalo came right across here. So we'll go see. We got two old Dugga boys, fresh tracks, going in this creek bed here. So. Oh, I'm fired up going in there where we can see 10 feet. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> and you've got a gun. You might, you might be wondering why I don't big. have a gun. It's but when you're in this tight of quarters, and you're hunting with people that you trust, um, like the PHs here, like Dondre and uh, Yapi and all these, and Gerard, is too many guns and uh, things go wrong. Uh, it'd be more danger with four or five guns going back or forth. Just check some of the lion charges on the internet and you'll see what I'm talking about. Better off to stay back behind the guns and you're all right. These experienced hunters know that the bush is getting a little too thick, and this is where a buffalo hunt can go very wrong. It's more than one. It's a bunch. We busted us just yet. More than one. one. Yeah, it is buffalo. That five was a. Twelve thousand eight hundred kilometers north, Bo Morgan continues his multiple hunt program organization in Switzerland. 
bouncing in our little uh, ping pong ball across Europe here. We're uh, in Switzerland and checking out the uh, Alpine Ibex program. Um, switching it up a little bit here, but uh, just checking in with the local outfitter, making sure everything's set for this year, our schedules, and it's better to come spend a little time with them. Great program. They do a little pre-scout and let them know what each client's kind of looking for, and uh, it goes good. I didn't know if we were going to have this program, and uh, it's a lottery system to get the tag. So we put guys in, and uh, it takes a little bit to get it done. So we, see we went ahead and drew two guys this year, and uh, they're coming over in October. We'll just make sure everything's in place to do it. Makes it pretty cool. Uh, got a non-typical animal as well. That, Trying to get some eyeballs on, hopefully uh, see it. Today's a real bad day for glassing, foggy and rainy, spitting snow. So that's not the main reason we're here. The main reason is the contact and the information and uh, making sure everything's in place and what we need and those kinds of things. So that's what we're doing. Drop into Italy and uh, back to southern France. We'll really finish up work and fly out in a couple of days. So. An Alpine Ibex hunt will be another unique program to offer clients. True Magnum TV is brought to you by Hornady. Accurate, deadly, dependable. SnapSafe. Security everywhere you want it. Prairie King Ranch. And by True Magnum. The world's best hunting. Back home in Montana, James Bryan has found an active wolf feeding area. He is hoping this gives him an advantage and will result in the first sighting of the project. Well, now we have several kills in this one valley. And now if we can just hike up above those kills, maybe we'll catch a wolf leaving at first light. Sounds like that's for sure. Lots of trails over there, also. This looks pretty good. See if there's more of them over the top. Time out. No more wolf hunting. We're taking a break. This is cool. 80 yards. Less than 80. Just bet it. Nice ram. Three quarter curl ram. That's cool. I was up here with my dad and my brother. It was in the summer. We found 27 rams in a group just up this ridge. We belly crawled into the middle of them and just sat there for hours. So dad and I snuck within, just had 27 rams all around us just up this ridge. That was right then and there is when we both decided we were gonna go ram hunting. So we bought the unlimited tags that very next year, went over to Bozeman, had a great hunt. Both of us took rams. And of all the hunting I've ever done, I still look back at that and say it was the best hunt I've ever been on. Any chance just to get 
close to these guys, man. I just, just drop everything and just hang out with these rams. It's cool. Hunters are the reason that sheep still exist in the wild today. Um, many, many dollars, it takes so many dollars uh, to keep them going on the mountain. And, uh, you know, fortunately, we all keep putting in for our tag draws and buying those licenses in hopes of one day we'll get to hunt one of these amazing critters. Uh, until then, all that money just goes to keeping them on the mountain so we can see them during the off season. It's beautiful. In Africa, the Cape Buffalo Bulls continue to seek dangerously heavy cover. Great. Uh, can we try? Just follow the tracks for a little bit more. If they see, if we see they far ahead of us or whatever, we can get the truck and maybe catch up with them again. Yeah. Because now we push them out of the thick stuff. <laughs> yeah. That was the main object. Yeah, get them on the feeding. <laughs> yeah. That's exciting. Yeah, I heard them twice, like just back here, 100 meters too. They were, yeah, they were just in front of us. Yeah, they were held up under that canopy. Mm. We all came out into this old trail, and looks like we lost the track but they didn't want to push him too much. We got him out of the heaviest stuff. We're gonna get the vehicle, I think, and check the outside of this block. And there's a few trails to see if we can't pick him up and get a visual on him. Again, they're close. We got close a couple times. Yeah, but that was thick. Real thick. You couldn't see 10 yards. No. found one or two fresh tracks in a big block and uh, we walked in a couple hundred yards and I, I, heard, I heard a grunt and then all of a sudden they busted out and I think there's four or five of them in there and uh, we followed them again for about another half hour and we got real close the track put his hand up and we could all hear him just busting walking and um, they came out into what was more of an open it's still really thick but uh, it's like Gerard, the PH said, our, our intention was to get them out of that really heavy, thick stuff. And this is uh, more sparse and uh, there's a better chance. There's all kinds of trails. So now we're going to hop up, up on the truck and get up high and see if we can't get a look at them. You know, a couple, 300 yards. It's late enough in the day now, 430. We got an hour and a half. We might actually get them settling down and grazing and we can see them maybe 100, 200 yards away and make a plan to sneak up on them. But it feels good to buffalo hunt again. I forget how much I like it. it gets you going and to have my buddy Kenny here doing it. Good fun, lots of action. Seen all of that. It looks kind of like I've been big yoke in your place. We've seen all the buddies die. But I know, but it breaks open here into this yeah. stuff, and they'll, like I was just saying, if we stay back from a bit and go around, we might catch them in some of these blocks. And they're, I mean, there's patches of nice grass, and they'll start slowing down to start feeding soon yeah. anyway. I think there was more than the three originally, wasn't there? That sounded like more. Yeah. A long day hunting Cape Buffalo is a balance between keeping up with the herd, but not making them angry. Get 
on them. Kenny, get on them. Get on them. Back in Montana, James Bryan continues to find wolf-killed ungulates, but most of these happen without ever a witness. Last year, Montana sold a little over $300,000 worth of wolf permits to hunters to hunt wolves. But the funny part is, that's the economic value that in many parts of the state, one wolf will eat in a year. Crows in the road, fresh kill. That's a brand new kill from the last time we were up here, deer. Let's check it out, see what did it. <clears throat> Well, what do we have here? Wow. That's pretty fresh. There's still quite a bit of food here. Holy, yeah, that's a big dog. Yeah. Holy crap. That's more like it. That is one big dog. Big dog. <clears throat> Jeez. That's a super predator right there. Super predator. <clears throat> I don't have small hands either. Those are monster, monster dog tracks. Go off down through there. But I only see one track. I kind of expected this to be a cat kill, really. A deer. It doesn't quite add up. One wolf taking down a deer. I don't know. That's hard to do. This one's odd. Fresh kill. It looks like it would be a cat kill. We can't find a cat track, just a single wolf track. This track is from a monster wolf, and it's been in and out of this area several times in the last few days. All right, I feel like we're getting close. <clears throat> this track is minutes old, it's not hours old. I only see one wolf track. Wait, stop. Did you hear that? Show something different than the greeny point of view about uh, I can't do anything, can never kill the animals. Well, you have to control them with the amount of land you have, so it's a, it's a big thing. Oh, no. Come on, you sucker. Ah, oh, dang it. Oh, no. We're not calling in the rescue party. I don't think anybody can rescue us up here. It's, it's, you have to consider every time out a survival mission. You're going where nobody's gonna come get you. They're gonna, you know, you gotta text somebody and say, this is the road I'm gonna be on. I'll text you when I'm done so they know where to send somebody. But, you know, they're not driving up here with an ambulance, that's for sure. He's in there. We just saw him. Big freaking dug a boy stand up there. Monster. Right, right there, right there, right there, right there. Shoot him. Get away, get away. No, no, no. Right, right. He's gonna come. 